Yeah, hi students. Uh, now we will discuss about the classification of the winds. Based on the wind direction, wind speed, wind features and you know wind occurrence where it occurred. So based on these uh, parameters, winds are classified into majorly into three types. So today we will discuss about the classification of the winds and uh, what exactly their features and what direction they move from uh, as we have discussed like high pressure to low pressure belts. So in which direction whether it is east to west or west to east. Okay. So basically uh, as we have uh, discussed wind has uh, a different uh, you know, a speed occurrence and the direction also that characteristics. So uh, based on these uh, four parameters, so winds are majorly uh, classified into three types, planetary, seasonal and local winds. So planetary winds are uh, majorly, you know, uh, the wind, the moving air above the world, uh, the sphere. So where you have a uh, the changes continuous like you know uh, like yearly they have the, the climatic conditions whatever we uh, discuss they're all planetary they're all earth so we don't have much effect of the planetary winds they are continuous so majorly they are again divided into three types trade winds polar winds and westerlies. So the main characteristic of trade winds are they move from east to west. So from east direction to west direction also called as easterlies traveling from eastern part of the world to the western part of the world. Again, we have westerlies. Westerlies travel from west to east. So, this is the type of winds like they travel above the earth, uh, which are uh, you know like earthy. Uh, yearly, you have this uh, climatic conditions. And polarlies, like uh, trade winds, they also travel from east to. west east to west so also part of the, so these winds you generally find in the polar uh, regions uh, where as we have discussed there uh, you have uh, the lowest temperature cold regions having uh, for example if we take a moon uh, it uh, in, during the daytime it's too hot that man cannot tolerate at the same time, during night, it's too cold. Again, human being cannot tolerate these temperatures. So, this kind of uh, temperatures that we discuss yearly base, like we say, uh, America or you know, uh, Finland, it's too cold. That means it's a nothing but planetary winds. And whereas, if you say in India, we have for every seasons, for every three months or four months we feel a different type of climatic conditions. This kind of uh, winds we call as seasonal winds which are having restricted to the regions. We, uh, For example, we say that in Rajasthan it's too hot and in uh, Shimla it's too cold or cold. This kind of words that we discuss it is generally it's nothing but you know the effect of seasonal winds. So seasonal winds are not yearly for every season like in summer hot in uh, winter we feel uh, cold so this kind of uh, seasonal winds uh, we call as you know uh, restricted to regions or uh, specific areas that where we live in and local winds local winds are every day every 10 minutes you have a different type of weather so the reason why the word which I am using here is climate, climate here weather because weather changes like for every 10 minutes, every half an hour, every one hour we feel a different. 
say for example in the evening we feel bit uh, cold relatively to the uh, like uh, 12 to 2 in the mid of the day so this kind of local winds have uh, the characteristic and they are not in one direction the directions will change randomly because sometimes you feel uh, you know the direction from east to west and maybe after 2 hours again west to east such winds are called local winds and they are restricted to smaller areas for example your small colony you feel a local wind uh, effect so rainfall in india is majorly affecting our uh, seasonal winds so due to this seasonal winds effect we get the monsoons like uh, you know southwest monsoons we get and also northwest monsoon in winter so in summer we get uh, this uh, monsoons like southeast trade winds will travel and will cross the equator and there in which we get the in summer this effect we feel from the north, southeast trade winds at the same time uh, northeast trade winds will cross the equator and we get in the winter we get the monsoons so likewise we discuss seasonal changes rainfalls all you know in the seasonal wind effect at the same time local winds are again divided into two types hot and cold so these hot uh, cold winds like when the land uh, is heated up and uh, when it raises the temperature so the air which is blowing like sometimes we call as a loo it's nothing but hot local wind effect so at the same time we say that once if you go near by the sea we feel the sea breezes very pleasant air moving and you know we feel land breezes and the valley breezes so all these examples are nothing but classics uh, of uh, local wind